Hi, class. Today we are going to keep writing our D.A.R.E. essay. Um, I was looking through this um, as I was trying to get this video ready for you, and I noticed that this essay, so like the outline of the essay, is different from the requirements that are in the PowerPoint that they sent me. So we are going to look at the PowerPoint and see what the PowerPoint says versus doing what is on the outline and we're just going to hope that that's the right call um so yesterday you did this first paragraph so you this says at least three sentences but in my video i told you six because that's what the powerpoint said so it needs to be six sentences if your first paragraph is not six sentences please go back and write six sentences um moving on from that our second paragraph here in the outline it tells you to tell how you feel about the D.A.R.E. program. However, in the PowerPoint that we have here, it tells us after the first paragraph, it tells us to go in and start our first detailed paragraph. So that's what we're going to do. We are not going to write about how we feel about the D.A.R.E. program, but we are going to write our first detailed paragraph. So right here, where it says to how you feel about the D.A.R.E. program, you're going to go in and you're going to erase that. You're going to erase that and then you're going to type in first detail paragraph. Okay. And the length has to be at least six sentences. Okay, so it can be more than six sentences, but it cannot be less than six sentences. So at least six sentences. Okay. All right, so we have that, good. So let's go to our PowerPoint, this is what it says. So now let's get started on our third detailed paragraph. First, find your first point you chose to write about in your paper. Remember your my three points were. Okay, so yesterday I gave you some examples of like the three points that you can choose. So you should have chosen three different points from this. Let's go down. For, just, for my example today, we're just gonna use um, the three points that she has, okay? So if our three points that we laid out in our first paragraph are making good choices, avoiding violence, and being drug free, we are going to focus on our very first um, point right here. So we're gonna today we're gonna focus on making good choices. So whatever first point you had in your essay, in your first paragraph, is what we're going to focus on today. Okay, so we're gonna do making good choices. So we're gonna go back to our outline. And right here, we're just going to put making good choices so I know which topic I'm talking about. This is your outline. It's not a rough draft. It's not a final draft. It's just your outline. So um, if you have things like this, it's not, it's not a big deal. Okay. So this is all to help you write your essay. <laughs> My cat is currently trying to type for me. All right. So, making good choices. So let's go back to our PowerPoint and see what we need to do. So that's what we're doing. Okay, so it says get your plan outline. Okay, so we have it right there. Take a few minutes to list a few ideas about your first point that you will write about. This will guide the content of the paragraph. Think before you start writing your next paragraph. See my example. Okay, so this is the paragraph or make or this is the examples and the points that she wants to talk about in her paragraph. All right, so you are going to decide what three points you or what points you want to talk about um, when you're talking about making good choices. So let's delete these lines here and then we can start typing our three points here. So let's make a bullet and I'm just going to use her examples. We're just saying no, being good friends, peer pressure. Okay, so saying no, making good friends. Oops. Oh my goodness, I did it again. Okay, and then saying no to. Peer pressure. Okay. And their decision making model.
Okay, so I have some points that I want to talk about in my, my first detail paragraph here now. So let's go back here. It says, so I have briefly outlined slash planned what I want to write about in my next paragraph. Now I would use the list to, tell, to help me start my sentences. Okay, so this list that you create about your point is going to help you to form your paragraph. So remember our rubric about the requirements for the detailed paragraphs. So does it have a topic sentence? Does it have at least six sentences? Does it stick to the main topic? So the main topic in this instance would be making good choices. Okay. Um, and does it have a sentence that transitions smoothly into the next paragraph? All right, so see my second paragraph on the next slide. So this is the example of the second paragraph. So you can read this through if you would like. Um, it has a topic sentence, it talks about all the points that we laid out here, um, and it has a closing sentence that kind of got cut off, but I think if you, down, if you download this, you should be able to see what it says. Anyway, all right, let's discuss and flip back to the previous slide to answer the question. So after you are done writing your paragraph, this is what you're going to do. So did you see the paragraph's topic sentence and closing sentences in red? So Yep, the topic sentence is there, closing sentence is there, okay? Did I indent? So you want to go through, you want to make sure that you are indenting. Remember to indent a paragraph, you just hit the tab button and then you start writing or start typing your essay or your paragraph here. Okay. In, did I stick to the main idea and making good choices? So you have to ask yourself that question. Did you stick to the main idea or did you kind of wander off? Um, if your answer is no to this question, please go back and fix um, anything in your paragraph that doesn't relate to making good choices or whatever topic you chose. Did I have at least six sentences to support my topic? Uh, and then am I transitioning to my next paragraph smoothly? Do not worry about this part right here. Um, we can worry about that later after we have our whole essay written. Right now, I just want you to focus on getting your paragraphs written. So we're just focusing on getting the second paragraph written here. Um, please let me know if you have any questions whatsoever. You can call me, you can text me, you can email me. However you want to get in contact with me, please just let me know. And I will be more than happy to help. I miss you all. I hope you have a wonderful Wednesday.